let's address this one. Um, can this person apply for jobs in China? What do yeah. you think? So again, as I said, like when you, uh, let's say you see a job description, right? You see a job description, minimum experience required, minimum that required, minimum this required, uh, send a letter, say, hey, my name is this, you know, uh, I do not have that experience, but I have this qualification, would you consider? Again, it says be honest, right? Because I mean, uh, every employer is looking for like ideal content. Oh, I want to have like masters with five years experience. The, 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 you know, the reality is it's never the case, right? Every employee is flexible. Everyone is flexible, right? Like if you prove that, I mean, if you, um, if the employer will say, you know what? I think I want to work with that girl or with that gentleman, right? That's, it, it's possible. Approach, like if you see that you're not meeting, what I'm trying to say is if you're not meeting the requirements listed on the website or job description, still contact the employer as, as if there, it, it, is there a flexibility? Ask about that. Ask about that. And uh, from your po point of view, what's the best type of a resume? Um, try, um, they they want to see experience. They want to see experience. Anything related to current position, right? And because you read, uh, like for example, if you read the job description, job description before you apply, get some of that job description in your resume, right? Yeah, that's right. So you just need to make sure that your resume is um, following the requirements from the job description. Uh, that's a general. Example, yeah. Yeah. If, if, if the job description is, you know, are you good with kids? You know, um, can you sing songs? And let's say you don't want to write like, okay, I, I, I've been doing some plumbing for the last couple of years. I'm a great plumber. Like, I know my range keys. Like, uh, don't do that, of course, right? So yeah. Yeah. So just yeah. relevant experience, that's it. Stay, close, stay relevant, stay close to the job description. Yeah, steal from the job description, put it in your resume if, if you have to, right? But as I said before, don't lie, right? But be, be, be realistic, right? Be realistic. And what's the way they interview? Like uh, you, uh, you meet your, uh, uh, you meet your employer, your yeah. prospective employer for the first time. Yeah. And what would be the way uh, they interview you? It depends on the company. So when I got here, I had um, I had a three stage interview. So um, I had um, I had two phone calls. I say, hey, like, you know, this is like Sally from HR. Like, do you have five minutes? Oh, yes, I do. So we had a quick chat, right? Then two days later, say, hey, this is John from HR. I, say, I just talked to Sal a couple of days. Oh, yeah, no, that's another John. So there's like they have the department, different stages, right? So they um, depends on the company, right? Uh, this day and age, like most likely it will be like a Zoom or WeChat or like some kind of conference call. Yeah. Very oh, standard stages, right? If you pass one stage, go to another. Yeah. And, oh, and, and sorry, uh, be ready, like uh, record, record one minute self intro one minute self intro. And if you can record like a demo class, like five minutes, four minutes demo class where they can see you interacting with kids, that helps. Because if you say like, oh, my name is Eugene. I've been working with kids for 10 years. Words don't matter as much, right? But I mean, if you say, hey, you know what? Uh, instead of wasting your time, uh, I have a video handy. Do you have a minute? I'll send it right to you. And uh, for example, if someone uh, doesn't have this experience, like of working with kids, what would yeah. be uh, the the best way to approach uh, this job application pro process? Oh, that's me right there, like five years ago when I came to China. I'm, I'm a translator by trade, like I'm a Russian English translator, and um, you know, so I, I flew to China from Canada, and um, so what I said is, listen, I I never work with kids. My job was to translate, so my job was to make people understand each other, and I believe that you know I can I can make it happen in the classroom. Yeah, it's like whoa, it, you know that sounds sounds great. Yeah, so I just showed up like full of enthusiasm, say yeah, you know what? I think I love kids. I don't have much experience. I, I had zero experience at the day at the moment, right? But I said you know, listen, uh, it, it it excites me. Like give me a chance. I said okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. and, Be and uh, right? show them you care. I guess show them that you have some passion for the industry. Yeah. Uh, did you get any training, any specific courses or whatever? Uh, once I, before I got the job or? Uh, well, well yeah, um, just before I, I was, or in the process? 
Well, so since since I um you know since I landed in China, I I finished like, I don't know five different courses all about like early childhood education. Yeah, I'm constantly yeah. trying to like look for something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. By the way, Eugene is also our al alumnus. Uh, he finished um, 120 hours TEFL course. I did. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. It was like three years ago, I think. Yeah, something like that. So um, that that's actually also helpful. And one more time, it's uh, super important uh, for the visa application. If you guys oh, so want to get that, this yeah. work visa. Yeah, so I can tell a little story about that. So the reason, um, the reason I needed that uh, the certificate because I did have one that uh, I did online like years ago, right? But the uh, the immigration bureau they wouldn't accept it. Say, listen, like we need a paper, we need a paper, we need something that we can hold in our hands, right? So the one I had online just simply didn't work. So I said, listen, I do have it. Like I mean, I I've done that before. Say, yeah, no, sorry, we need something else. So yeah, I end up, uh, you know, working with these guys like I ITT and then get a certificate for them. That's what I submitted to the application center in uh, in Beijing and it worked, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I just want quickly to show you the way our certificate looks like. And it yeah, actually yeah. has uh, a special number. Uh, this number is super important uh, for the job application process because yeah. employers and embassies would probably want to check if it's valid, if it's real, because many people want to uh, just uh, make uh, a fake copy uh, using some pictures from the internet. Uh, so for this, for the sake of avoiding yeah. it, they, yeah, our certificates. Well, let me tell you uh, something about like, uh, so let me tell us uh, something about like uh, fake copies, right? Again, so when, um, but six, seven years ago, you go to China, if you want to get like a work visa, yeah, you buy a printer, computer, and you just print like, okay, I have masters from New Zealand, right? And you just submit, no problem, right? It works. I'm, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a doctor from Kentucky, whatever, you know, anything works, anything flies, right? Right now, um, every application is done online. So you're submitting your documents online. So if you decide to submit something fake, like, do not do that. No, the, the times have changed, right? If somebody tells you, oh, China, they know nothing, like, they're silly there. No, no one is silly. Like, the immigration officers, they, they do their job. The cops, they take care of that. Uh, make sure you have the legit documents, for sure. Don't, don't play games with Chinese government. And here is an... Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.